Welcome to the Cybersecurity Minute, where I answer all of your questions every Monday in just 60 seconds or less. Now, this week's question comes from Tom, who asks, what exactly is a denial of service attack? This week, I have a special helper named Yoda, who's going to help me demonstrate exactly what happens to a server during a denial of service attack. So let's put 60 seconds on the clock, and I'll explain it. Well, a denial of service, or DOS, occurs when an attacker makes a server unavailable to its intended users. This normally happens by overwhelming it with traffic. So, as you can see, Yoda, who's playing the part of our server, can provide the necessary services when he receives an expected amount of requests. For a web server, that can be hundreds or thousands of users at a time, but for Yoda, that's just one request, one goldfish. If, though, our attacker sends too much traffic to the server, it simply can't handle the demand. And while Yoda can pick up the goldfish off the floor, our server simply can't pick up the packets they've never received. So this creates what we call a denial of service condition, where the real users are ignored because the malicious actor has overwhelmed our server with too many requests for services. From a technical perspective, this can be simply done by sending too many SYN packets without any acknowledgments by the other end, or by other techniques. The result is the same, lost packets and lost requests. I want to thank you all for watching this week, and I want to thank Yoda for all his hard work during filming. If you have a question for us, please post it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this week's Cybersecurity Minute, please subscribe.